We're now just days away from the first day of school in Aiken County, which means it's time for the 14th annual Fit for School event aimed at helping K-12 students in Aiken get a head start on the school year with essential supplies and services. This annual event is not only includes a drive through of school, necessary school supplies, uh, supplies, but an array of services to get kids physically ready for school too. Uh, here to share more about it is Fit for School social media coordinator, Chloe Woody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, this has been going on now for quite some time, so pretty successful. Tell us about how Fit for School got started. All right, so this is our 14th annual Fit for School event. And 14 years ago, we just had some community members that came forward and noticed that there was a need to provide school supplies and health screenings for children and families in our community. So they came together and um, worked with community resources and donors to start the annual Fit for School event. Now it's a jam-packed day over mm -hmm. at the Aiken County Family Y. What is planned for the day? So for the day, we have lots of entertainment going on. Um, we'll start off with a drive through event where uh, the children um, and their families line up in their cars and we will have entertainment for the families. We'll have a DJ. Uh, we have a video game trailer that comes for entertainment. We'll have superheroes, princesses, um, all of that. And um, just a great time. Um, and then also there will be um, the availability for children to receive um, hearing screenings and haircuts oh. and other health care screenings. Oh, great. Uh, you mentioned the drive through uh, That's part of it, uh, which I'm, I'm assuming that came about because of COVID. What has the turnout looked like that in the last few years? The turnout for that has been great. Um, I feel like without, with not having the gym, we're able to serve even more families um, because sometimes the gym limited the amount of space that we have. But with having an outdoor area that's rather large, we have the capacity for more families to be able to drive through and be served by this event. And there's an opportunity for people to volunteer or donate or whatever they you know, feel to help out. So how can people get involved with Fit for School? So Fit for School would not be possible without the community uh, donors and businesses that we have that help sponsor. So there is availability for more sponsors um, and donors. Um, and if you're interested in that, there is a website. It's fitforschoolaiken.com. And there's a way to contact us through there where they can let us know if they would either like to donate their time, um, school supplies, or uh, monetary donations for us to be able to purchase school supplies. And uh, I think I misspoke earlier. Um, apparently, this is the second year that Aiken County was doing the earlier thing, more of the year-round deal. How has that changed the necessity and the need for school supplies? And, uh, and therefore, you guys have to be more uh, interactive. The school year is starting a lot earlier than it was. I believe that we have kids going back to school July 22nd mm -hmm. this year. Um, so we've just seen an increased need of children needing school supplies a lot sooner than you know intentionally expected by a lot of them. So um, that and along with inflation rates, um, a lot of families are without school supplies until later in the year. So our goal is just to provide those um, school supplies. We're doing backpacks and all of the school essentials that you know we can we can get together and provide for those families. And how has this event impacted families in the past year? I think it's been a really great thing for families because it's really made sure that children are just prepared for the school year. Right. Um, it's great to see kids uh, feel confident with haircuts and all the supplies that they need. Uh, let's go ahead and recap that information again. That's going to be happening this Saturday? It's this Saturday, the 20th, from 10 to 1 at the Aiken County Family YMCA. All right. And there is still time. If you would like to help volunteer or donate supplies, they can always use them. You can go online to fit the number four school .com for all of the information. Uh, thank you so much, Chloe. Thank we you. Appreciate all the information.